Hello, welcome back to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these cute little Dalmatian puppies on the Rainbow Loom. They're very miniature. You can customize the spots. I have five spots on the back and one little spot on the tip of the tail. And you can change up the ears and you can make two black ears like this one, a black and white ear like this one, or an all white one like this. And you can actually add some spots to the legs too if you choose to. And if you want black um, little claws, you can add them or make them all white also. So um, I made these look like 101 Dalmatians, the little puppies. There's around 15 puppies in Pongo's group, so his little family. So I made around 15 of them, and um, that's the, the picture on the thumbnail of this tutorial. And I think they came out really, really cute. It's a very simple design, and they come out really, really adorable. And you can see how it looks from the side. They're small. They look really precious. And I'm going to make this guy today, and if you want to make them different, like with two white ears or a white and a black ear, you can do that too. But I'm going to, this is my favorite. So I'm going to do two black ears and a little black on the tail. You can make this all white also. And um, let's get started. So this is 101 Dalmatians, the puppies. And if you want an adult Dalmatian, in the description box I have an adult Dalmatian tutorial too. He's a little bit bigger than this guy. Okay. Okay, we'll put the little puppy in the corner. came out really cute. I'm going to be using white and black for the dots. If you want to... Um, put the spots on the legs, you can do that too, but I like just the five dots on the back. It came out really nice that way. So it's a staggered position, arrow facing down. You need double white. We'll be working with the head first. And once again, it's a really simple um, little puppy design. And I made loads of them, which they look really cute in groups. So these are all double. And it's a small head, so not like my other dogs. This is only two stitches long. If I'm going too fast, you can um, pause and rewind, or just pause and catch up. Um, another double connecting this. Okay, so this is the head. Now, a triple for the neck. Okay, now you need your hook and your black bands. You need to place a single white, so this is one, from this pin to this pin. Then you take your black and you wrap it on the hook four times. So one, two, three, four. Take another single white, place it on the hook, bring the black on the single white, and then place it on top of this pin. Okay, so that's one spot. Now you're going to take another single white, place it on these two pins. Then take another black band, wrap it on the hook four times. Take another single white. Bring it on the hook, slide it, and place it on here. Then you're going to take a double white and place it in the middle. Then another double white. And then another double white on this side. Okay, so now this middle part is going to be a single white, and we're going to make another spot. So it's going to be a single black four times around, then a single white, and we're going to place it right here. Okay, then another single white. And we're going to place another spot right here. So one, two, three, four. Single white. 
bring the spot on here and place it here. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on the right side, so it's symmetrical. So single white right here, another black spot, four times around, bring another single white and place it on this pin. Okay, so now a double white, that's all the spots we're going to be using. So double white right here. Then a double white to connect them at the bottom. And now we can work on, you can push these down on the front legs. And if you don't want to make the little claws black, you can make them white and the white will look like this. So depending on what you prefer, you can make an all white paw or you can do the little um, black claws. So I'm going to make the black. So it's a single wrapped four times around. And it's going to be a double of the white. I'm making an all white leg. So it's one, another double, and then another double. I'm going to place it right here. And we're going to repeat on this side. So black, one, two, three, four. Then a double white. Another double white. And then another double. I'm going to place it right here. Okay, and then the hind legs. Single black, wrapped four times. Then a double white. Another double. And then the third stitch will be a triple because we're making like a little hind leg. So it will be three bands. And we're going to place it on these two pins. Okay, I'm going to repeat on this side. So there'll be another single wrapped four times around then a double white double white and then a triple white and place it right here Okay, the um, tail, I'm going to make a little spot on the end. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you don't, then he'll look like this. It's a plain um, white tail, or you can have a little spot. So my spot's going to be a black. It's going to be wrapped four times around. Then a double of the white. I'm going to make four stitches of the double white. That's one... Two, three, and four. Okay, we're going to place it right here. Okay, so now we're going to put a single for the structural bands to tie it all together. And now 
the nose, the muzzle. It's a single black wrapped four times. And a triple of white, so three. I'm gonna bring that little nose on there. Make sure it's in the middle, just like that. Then a single white. Slide it on there, and we're gonna place it on these two pins. And you wanna keep the muzzle right in the middle, just right there. And now the eyes. You can use beads for them, or you take a single and wrap it around four times. Another single, four times. Then a single white. So I'm making the black eyes. You can use blue eyes too. And you want them on these two pins. And separate the eyes. And bring it down. Looks more like a polar bear right now. <laughs> So this is what he looks like now. I'm gonna make black ears, just like this guy. Okay, you need a single black, wrap it on the hook three times, so three. Then take a triple black, and slide that on here. Then you wanna take another single black, twist it upon itself and bring the ear back on the hook like that. And then you want that right here. And if you want to make, you know, different colored ears, you can do that too. And just do all black. So then you can, you know, place it um, to the side like that. So another single black, one, two, three, then a triple. and then another single black. And you want to put it right here. And bring it to the side. So this is your puppy layout. Make sure yours looks like this. And we can start to loom. Okay, so we want to pull back the tail. And we're going to grab this band first. to the right, then we're going to grab this band on the left, and now the middle, and we're looming forward. Okay, we're going to stop right there, and we can loom the right side. We're only taking the bottom bands. It's including this um, band that's holding the black band, the spot, so it's going to be the bottom two bands. So just grab the bottom two, make sure the foot's to the side, bring it forward, and same here, we're going to grab this band and this band, bottom two. Okay, and same with left side, just the bottom. And same with the top. Okay, so this is a triple. Bring the hook all the way at the bottom, grab that triple. Bring it forward. And our next band will be this one on the top. Then the left one. And this middle. Now we want the muzzle right in the middle of this band so it looks like this. Bring that muzzle through. I'm going to stop right there because we're going to do this band last. And we're going to work on the left side of the head. Then the 
right? Okay, now the middle. Okay, so this is what he looks like. Grab a double white and we'll make a slip knot. Slowly take it off the loom. Okay, now the face. Be careful of the nose. Okay, we don't need the loom anymore. And we're going to turn this little guy into this. So you want to put your finger behind the head, push out the eyes and the face, push this in two. Nose. I like to fix the ears now. You pull out the ear and then there's that triple right here and pull, tug on it and it's going to bring it down. So it looks a lot different than here. So once again, Tug on this, grab the top of that triple, and just tug on it down. Bring it down. Stretch him out, pull out the legs. You can see the spots on the back. Put your hook underneath the triple of the neck. Tug, bring it up. So now his neck is up. Grab a single and we're going to sew his belly. So take your hook, go underneath these two stitches on the chest. And you're going to bring your thread, I call it the thread, underneath. Bring your back on the hook, make a slip knot, pull taut. Then you go to the next stitch. Right here, bring your hook, bring it through, and then there's the final stitch on the bottom because he's a small dog. Bring it through, and we're going to snip this end and tie it off. Okay, so I have my end of my thread. Take a scissor, just snip the end. Anchor one of the ends underneath the band on the belly, just like that, and then make a triple knot to tie it together. Okay, you can either snip off the ends or you can hide the excess inside the belly like that. Okay, so now bend him and you can stretch him out. You want to bring the tail up, so go underneath that last stitch, just like the neck, bring it up. Forward, so now the tail is pointing up, it's a nice long tail. Make sure the legs are down. And what I like to do is make a little paw. Right now his feet are going straight and I just want to tug on the bottom like we did with the ears and you make a little paw. So it goes like that. Same with this side. You can separate the claws too. Now with the back, the paw is going to come out the other way. So you can bring it like that. And then just move it like that and it'll go forward. Same here. Bring it out. Move it a little bit. The rubber bands, they're elastic. And you can fix your spots. Just move them around so that there's like no white. And 
it came out really cute. So fix them up. And to hide this, take your hook. We're going to sew the back of his head. Makes him more 3D also. And now it's all shut. So that is your Dalmatian. You can fix the eyes too. You can make them more pop out too by just putting the hook behind the eyes. And I think he's more cute. So you can fix up the spots. If you want the ears more down, you can pull them more down. And he does stand. And he's got a cute little body. And I think they came out adorable. So this is the Dalmatian puppy for 101 Dalmatians. If you want to make a big Dalmatian, I have the tutorial for that too. Okay, thank you. Please subscribe. Bye. Hello, welcome back to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these cute little Dalmatian puppies on the Rainbow Loom. They're very miniature. You can customize the spots. I have five spots on the back and one little spot on the tip of the tail. And you can change up the ears and you can make two black ears like this one, a black and white ear like this one, or an all white one like this. And you can actually add some spots to the legs too if you choose to. And if you want black um, little claws, you can add them or make them all white also. So I'm um, I made these look like 101 Dalmatians, the little puppies. There's around 15 puppies in Pongo's group, so his little family. So I made around 15 of them, and um, that's the, the picture on the thumbnail of this tutorial. And I think they came out really, really cute. It's a very simple design, and they come out really, really adorable. And you can see how it looks from the side. They're small. They look really precious and I'm gonna make this guy today and if you want to make them different like with two white ears or a white and a black ear you can do that too but I'm gonna to, this is my favorite so I'm gonna do two black ears and a little all the spots we're gonna be using so double white right here then a double white to connect them at the bottom And now we can work on, you can push these down on the front legs. And if you don't want to make the little claws black, you can make them white and the white will look like this. So depending on what you prefer, you can make an all white paw or you can do the little um, black claws. So I'm going to make the black. So it's a single wrapped four times around. And it's going to be a double of the white. I'm making an all white leg. So it's one, another double, and then another double. Okay, I'm going to place it right here. And I'm going to repeat on this side. So black, one, two, three, four, then a double white. Okay, so this is the head. Now a triple for the neck. Okay, now you need your hook and your black bands. You need to place a single white, so this is one, from this pin to this pin. Then you take your black and you wrap it on the hook four times. So one, two, three, four. Take another single white, place it on the hook, bring the black on the single white, and then place it on top of this pin. Okay, so that's one spot. Now you're gonna take another single white place it on these two pins. Then take another black band, 
wrap it on the hook four times. Take another single white, bring it on the hook, slide it, and place it on here. Then you're going to take a double white and place it in the middle. Then another double white and then another double white on this side. Okay, so now this middle part is going to be a single white and we're going to make another spot. So it's going to be a single black four times around, then a single white And we're going to place it right here. Okay, then another single white. And we're going to place another spot right here. So one, two, three, four. Single white. Bring the spot on here. And place it here. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on the right side, so it's symmetrical. So, single white right here. Another black spot. Four times around. Bring another single white and place it on this pin. Okay, so now a double white that's black on the tail. You can make this all white also. And um, let's get started. So this is 101 Dalmatians, the puppies. And if you want an adult Dalmatian, in the description box I have an adult Dalmatian tutorial too. He's a little bit bigger than this guy. Okay. Okay, we'll put the little puppy in the corner. Came out really cute. I'm going to be using white and black for the dots. If you want to um, put the spots on the legs, you can do that too, but I like it, just the five dots on the back. It came out really nice that way. So, it's a staggered position, arrow facing down. You need double white. We'll be working with the head first. And once again, it's a really simple um, little puppy design. And I made loads of them, which they look really cute in groups. So, these are all double. And it's a small head, so not like my other dogs. This is only two stitches long. If I'm going too fast, you can um, pause and rewind, or just pause and catch up. Um, another double connecting this. 